In this short video, I'm going to show you how we transfer film to a digital media. The unit you see before you is called a flash scan and is a professional telecine machine specifically designed for the transfer of both standard 8 or regular 8 as it is known in some countries and Super 8mm Cinefilm. At the moment, this machine is transferring some old standard 8mm home movie film and as you can see, the quality of image is very good indeed. High resolution images are essential for archiving and future proofing your film for future generations. So let us take the image out of frame just to show you the telltale sprocket holes. And as you can see, this is definitely standard 8mm film. Now the flash scan looks like one of those old fashioned tape recorders of yesterday and with very good reason. The transport system for the film is almost identical to that of tape. The film is transported in a safe continuous motion through the film path and can reverse, forward or pause in exactly the same method as a tape machine. It can also change speed from 3 frames per second to 25 frames per second without any trace of flicker and whilst the machine is still running. This makes it ideal for transferring film shot on vintage cine cameras that had variable speeds. Changing the speed does not corrupt the images. We can also capture still images of any frames you may require as JPEG files to make future photographs. The name flash scan refers to the flashing cold light source that provides the illumination for this machine. Because of this, the film can be left stationary in the gate for an indefinite period without any risk of burning, warping or other damage. The machine is fitted with primary and secondary colour correction, so can help overcome some of the problems with older film that has turned towards red or blue. Here is an example. Because the flash scan does not use a claw or intermittent movement to transport the film, it can in most cases transfer film that can no longer be projected. This film has severe sprocket damage. You can actually see where the claw has been striking the film. This is a section of that film. By the mid 60s, movie makers were experimenting with various ways of adding sound since all domestic cameras at that time were silent. One of the most ingenious methods introduced was a device called a Synchrodec, which one of our clients captured on film many years ago. As you can see, it links a tape recorder to a projector, and although lip sync at that time was almost impossible, it paved the way for a new era in home movies. Here is an example of what the results were like. To Super 8, we simply change the sprockets and realign the machine. A magnetic sound head is fitted that can transfer mono audio from standard 8mm stripe film. It will also transfer stereo or dual track from Super 8mm film. So let's have a look at some Super 8mm sound. Yes, 
For the technically minded, the flash scan will output component, SDI or firewire, and will of course transfer negative film. However, we will only transfer negative if the producer is present, and you are now looking at Super 8 negative film. So, there you have it. Taking movies and showing them on a projector was truly magic. But for most of us, that period of our lives has now passed. The equipment is no longer available and the films are probably deteriorating. If you want to save your movies, they need to be converted to digital at high quality. That way, future generations will see the people places and moments in time exactly as you captured them all those years ago. If you would like any further information please visit our website or subscribe to our channel.